Hey, this is Jolene from the facepaintingforumshop.com and I'm here to show you this fast boy design. I'm going to really slow it down though. I've had some uh, requests for this dark ocean tutorial. Um, it's from Tag and if you're not careful you can get a little too much of that black in and it can overpower your design. I'm going to show you how not to. Okay, I load my brush all the way to the ferrule with water. Then I'm going to come back in and I'm going to spritz the cake once with the um, with my sprayer and then since it's got some pearls in it it will flow pretty well do you want to make sure you anchor the bottom of your brush in that white and just barely you see I'm not even trying to touch that black but I end up getting up uh, pulling up a little bit of it with me okay if you'll take a look at my brush you can see that I'm loaded mostly with the light colors and then just the very tip edge has the black in it Okay, I'm going to go over my forehead in a C shape, making sure that I stay well above the eyebrow, and that gives me room to put the teeth in later. So press down, and I'm going to start pulling up right there, and you can see me lifting and letting go. And you saw that I pulled around and I lifted the um, the brush, the the bottom part, the white part, up and out of the skin. You see me do the same thing again. Okay, so that is his mouth. I'm going to go ahead and pat that in to blend it a little bit. And I'm going to continue to do the rest of his body. I'm going to do his fin, press, twist, and pull. Same thing with his uh, body after I did his fin, press, twist, and pull. And I'll make the other side of his body. If you wanted him to be skinnier, you could just do the one side. I wanted him to be nice and robust. So I'm going to press, twist, and pull up. You saw me pull the edge of the white all the way off the skin. Okay, and that was off of a single load. With it being those creamy shimmer colors, it adds a lot to the design, but also holds a lot of paint. So I'm going to use, um, I think this is Fab Rage Red, but every any red would do. I'm going to go around, and you could omit this if you're wanting a faster design, but I'm going to add a double row of teeth, so I needed the 3D effect that this will give you of the inside of his mouth. Okay, I'm going to come back with white. I'm going to load it up well. But I'm going to make sure the paint is um, almost a sticky consistency, not very wet. Twisting to get a point. You can see my, um, my brush is pointy, so that means I don't have a ton of paint on it. I'm going to make little rounded little uh, teardrops curving in. Tiny, tiny teardrops, and that is why I want it to stay away from the eyebrow. If you get too close to the eyebrow, then your, your teeth will get inside the eyebrow hairs and it just won't look as good. Okay, while my brush is loaded, I'm going to wet it just a little bit because like I said, I want it to keep the paint a little bit on the drier side. I'm going to go in between each one of the upper row of teeth on the opposite side and add slightly smaller teeth so it looks like they're kind of pushed back a little further away. While I have this loaded, I am going to add a teardrop shape with a petal brush. And this is what I do with my, um, if I do a dinosaur or a shark like this, and I know I'm going to need an angry eye, then I'll use the petal brush to get, make an eye shape. And so I'll uh, use the white on that number one. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not number one. It's number three, Low Cornell. And I'm going to come around and do all my highlights. And I already know, um, I do this design all the time, so I already know where I want my highlights. So I can kind of save time by doing them all at once before I add the black, since I already have it loaded up from the teeth. Okay, 
and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to load up the black and I'm using a brush I've had forever it's a number two also it's a Mark Reed signature series number two it's like a liner brush as far as the width goes but it's a little shorter so it gives you a little bit more control I'm going to come around that eye and I made sure the consistency of the white that I did on the eye was a little bit more of a dry consistency too. That way I could paint over pretty quickly. I'm going to make a C shape. And then I'm going to come back around that to make the pupil. That's why you want the eye to be as dry as possible. So if it's wet, you can always pat over it with a, a uh, any kind of sponge and that will dry it up. Okay, I'm going to outline the teeth, but I am only outlining the back side. And the outline can be omitted. Like I said, if you're in a hurry, you can just leave the teeth just plain and white if you want to. And that would save you a little bit of time. Okay, you can see I'm pressing down and then I'm pulling up on the tip. Now, with this, you're going to make sure that the outline stays small because you don't want to overpower, so the paint's going to be a little bit drier there, too. Okay, I'm going to re-wet my brush, and I'm going to go ahead and start the outline. And um, a good tip to do is if you are going to re-wet your brush and do the outline, you're going to start wherever you want the uh, outline to be the heaviest so you'll have a little bit more paint on the brush so I'm going to come up and around where I know I'm going to want a little snout and then I'm going to come up and around that highlight area to highlight his eye and then I'm going to cut around and the head area and leaving the fin on the back side to push that fin back and then I'm going to outline the fin Pressing down and pulling up on the tip. Pressing down and pulling up on the tip. Pressing down and pulling up. Outlining the body. And then I'm also going to outline the fin, the tail fin. Just following the contours. Varying my pressure on my brush to give me a thicker and thinner line. And then I'm going to come back and add a little bit of a nostril right there on the tip of his nose. Just pressing down. Alright, you could be done. It looks good. Any little boy would like it. I'm going to come in and darken the eye. So, that could be it. You could be all done and be finished. And he's eating my eyeball. The kids love that. Usually I'll have them try to open their eye real wide and work their eyebrows and watch him kind of chew on their eyeball. And then sometimes I ask them if they want blood and so sometimes I'll do a bite mark on the bridge of my nose. And I'm going to come back in though and I'm going to add white. And you can see, you see how round my brush is? That's how you know you have enough uh, water in the paint when the brush looks round like that. And I'm adding these to uh, simulate bubbles. Usually, truthfully though, I like a bigger brush to add dots, like a number six, so I can have big fat dots, because I love the big fat dots, and then if you don't put very much pressure, you can have a tiny dot too. So I'm gonna add some splash marks, because I want it to look like jaws, like he's jumping out of the water. So I'm gonna just kind of keep close to the body. I'm gonna do uh, one more set here close to my eyebrow and then I'm going to do another set right underneath his jawline I'm going to come around to the back side of his uh, torso and then I'm going to do around the fins it's probably uh, about a five minute design 
if I was painting fast. But I'm done with that. So if you want to, you can uh, delete or add objects. But thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And then if you have any questions, you can ask them down below. Thank you.